Hello, my dear gardening friends. This video is dedicated to a hidden virus which probably exists in your garden if you grow roses, and it's called rose mosaic disease. I do have it in my garden. I spotted it two or three years ago, and since that time, I always watch it appear on the plants on my roses uh, leaflets every year. So what is rose mosaic disease? Rose mosaic disease is caused by two different viruses. And the way they affect the plant is they weaken the life of the plant, of other rose. Rose doesn't produce as plentiful and as big blooms. Rose might have more dieback canes. Rose uh, plants might face uh, the heat conditions of, no of summer not as well, they, uh, those plants which are affected by rose mosaic virus. And uh, generally they are not as healthy as other healthy roses in the garden. So this is how a rose mosaic virus can influence other roses. How about the symptoms of rose mosaic disease? Symptoms can be very different depending on the cultivar. So different roses respond differently to uh, show on their leaflets that they are infected by rose mosaic virus. For example, my generous gardener rose, several years ago, I noticed it for the first time on that rose. And mind you, this rose is uh, around 10 years old. So for the first seven years, I didn't see any symptoms on the leaves uh, that that rose is infected by rose mosaic disease. And only several years ago, I noticed it for the first time. And the way rose mosaic disease looks, it manifests itself only on the leaflets of the rose, and it looks like this uh, zigzagged design. Uh, it also can look like a ugly white, yellow or orange spots on the leaves, and usually they stay through the season. Uh, the whitish zig zigzag uh, design on the leaves usually uh, comes early in the season and then disappears. So each rose reacts different to the presence of rose mosaic disease. And uh, on my generous gardener, this um, discoloration, erratic discoloration of leaves uh, happens uh, during the middle of the summer. I don't see any of it in the spring. And then at the end of summer, it disappears again. Till next time. So three years ago, I saw this virus on my generous gardener for the first time. It doesn't do any damage to my rose so far and it comes and goes and all what it does to my rose is produce this uh, slight cosmetic effect which I can live with. But the first year I noticed uh, the virus presence on the leaves, that effect, very lightly. And now this year I see more and more leaflets affected by that. How do we approach rose mosaic disease in our gardens? Well, uh, please do keep know that uh, in around 1979, the experts say that probably around 90% of all the roses which were sold commercially to us from the nurseries were affected, infected by this virus. And once rose is infected by the virus, there is nothing can be done about it. You cannot cure the bush from it. You cannot spread it to another um, rose in your garden, which is a very good uh, news that this virus, this rose mosaic virus, cannot be spread in the garden, either by your bad equipment that you didn't sterilize your shears between cuttings, or by mites or aphids or other bugs, or wind or rain, like a black spot on roses. So once your rose is infected, that's it. You can do nothing about it to bring it to other plants in the garden. What you can do, you can spread it by propagation. So if your rose has this virus and you took a cutting from this rose, you planted that rose and the, another rose is growing, it doesn't show any symptoms, it does have the virus from its mother's plant. So by 1999, um, the commercial producers of roses had this mutual uh, effort to uh, diminish the amount of uh, rose mosaic disease in uh, commercially sold roses. And by 2000, probably 50% of roses are still having mosaic virus and 50% not. So that was uh, purely through the efforts of uh, commercial companies who are in business of selling roses. 
So if you have roses in your garden, as I do, chances are that some of them are being affected by this virus. And if you have a healthy soil, you provide your roses with good nutrition, good sun, good water, chances are that rose mosaic disease is not going to have any strong influence on the health of your rose. But if there are any troubles in your garden, your rose is plagued by insects, your rose doesn't have adequate sun, it struggles with dry soil or very poor soil, then rose mosaic disease can be like a cherry on the cake to take your rose down. So the good news is when you treat your rose well, rose mosaic disease can be the most cosmetic problem. But if your rose is not healthy, keep in mind that rose mosaic disease can just pile up and be the enemy number three or four to your rose. If you bring your rose from the nursery and you see that it has rose mosaic disease, you can bring it back. But personally me, I wouldn't worry about it. I have several roses in my garden which are affected by this disease and I basically do nothing about it because I can do nothing about it. So if you have this funny discoloration, please know that that's rose mosaic disease and make sure that you treat your roses very well. You provide everything for the roses uh, to flourish in your garden and then rose mosaic disease should not be a problem. I hope you found this video helpful. Look at my hostess. Nice blooms, right? It's a shy plant in my garden, producing wonderful shade blooms, attracting a lot of carpenter bees. Happy gardening and I will see you next time.